What is going on guys? Jack here and today we are going to be going through how to install real names within FM21. Are you sick of Juventus being called Zebra? Are you sick of the Brazilian teams not having proper names? Are you sick of the Ballon d'Or being called the World Golden Ball? I've got you covered today. Let's get into this video. So today guys I'm going to show you how to install a real name fix patch into FM21. By default there are various competitions and team names and awards which just don't have the correct names. For example the Champions League is called the European Champions Cup. Over in Brazil pretty much every team just has a three letter abbreviation and well as for Juventus they're just called Zebra. Um, and yeah Perlo is called Ivan Piazza. Mm. So yeah, you might want this fix if you're someone who wants to have the proper names. I quite like Perlo being called Perlo. And uh, well, the first step of all is to make sure you've closed Football Manager, which I know can be quite difficult, but I'm, I'm going to do my best to do it myself. Um, yeah, I'll join you guys in just a second. Okay, so once you've done the most difficult step of actually closing Football Manager, you're going to need to download a real name license fix file. Um, the one that I use is from FM Scout. Various fan sites have their own version. Feel free to find the one that you want to use. I will be linking this one down in the description, along with written out step-by-step -step instructions. So perhaps if you're struggling to follow along with the video, or if you're on Mac, there'll be slightly different instructions just to help you get on with the install. So yes, step two is going to be to download the file here. It's a very simple download. Already 28,000 people have managed it, so it's clearly not that difficult. And once we download this, we are going to have a zip file in our downloads folder. Okay, so hopefully you've now managed to download the zip file and it is on your computer somewhere. As you can see, I have mine here and uh, it is a zip file, which means you are going to need WinRAR. Now, if you've been following some of my other guides, you will have already done the face pack and logo pack installs and have WinRAR installed. If I am talking a foreign language to you right now, check out down in the description. There will be a link to a download and install guide for WinRAR itself. We're going to right click on this file and we're going to hit extract to FM21 real name fix. And within here we have the contents of the download, which is two LNC files, which are going to be the two files we are well, installing into our football manager folders in order to get the real name fixes working. So now that we have these two files here, we are going to want to install them into the Football Manager 2021 install location. Now this will vary a little bit depending on how your PC is set up. However, if you go to Steam, find Football Manager 2021 within your Steam library, right click on it, go to Properties, then go to the Local Files tab and click Browse Local Files. This will open up your install location no matter where it is on your PC. So once you have found your Football Manager install location, you are going to want to go to Data, Database, DB, and then 2101. Each one of these folders represents a different version of the database. As new versions of Football Manager come out, you may see new folders here. For the latest changes and the real name fix to take effect of newer save games, you need to select the most recently created folder within this location. Right now during the beta, that is the folder 2101. Once we're within here, we are going to open it up, go to the ink folder, and then go to all. And within here, there is a load of different team names. You are going to want to delete the following files, fake, link dan sui fra, and n league. So we will do that right now. And once we delete these files, we are done in this folder location. The next thing that we're going to do is go and get the files that we downloaded and extracted previously in the real name fix, these two LNC files, and copy and paste these into this location. So this is within Football Manager 2021, Database, Data, DB, 2101, Inc, and then All. So you're going to have deleted three files and then added in the two custom real name fix. We're then going to go back two folders to 2101 and go into the EDT folder. Within here, you're then going to go into permanent, and then within this location, you're going to delete the file fake EDT. Again, you're going to go back to the 2101 location and now go to the DBC folder here. Within here, you can see there is a load of different folders, a very similar layout. You are going to go to permanent and delete the following six files. The two Zebra files, Brazil Kits, Forbidden Names, Licensing 2, and Licensing 2 underscore CHN. And now, 
We're done. Yes, I will have written instructions for this down below. Essentially, you are going to come to the latest database version and within the DBC, EDT and INC folders, there are going to be a few different files you need to delete and a few that you need to paste in from the downloaded location. So as I mentioned before, every time a new database comes out for the game, there will be a new folder appear within here. When Football Manager updates, you will need to repeat these steps in order for the real name fixes to take effect in a save game created in the latest database version. But hopefully with this video, it's going to be easy enough to follow along. And as I've shown, it's a pretty pain-free install process every FM update. So now that we've done those steps, just to load up Football Manager and check to its work, we can go to Start New Game Career. And if we just have a quick peek at South America and Brazil, you can see that all the Brazilian teams now have their real names. Additionally, if we just look within Europe and Italy, uh, you can see here Juventus now also have their proper names. And if this is the case, you know that the fix has installed correctly. It's very important to note that when it comes to the Juventus team name and also the Brazilian team names, those names are determined when you create a save game, so they won't retroactively apply to existing save games. Stuff like the Champions League being renamed will and just about every other change will, uh, but any club names are fixed when the game is created. But for any future save games you create after installing the real name fix, the names will remain fixed. And uh, for all the other different competitions and such, if there's any FM updates and the real names break, you just have to follow these steps and it will apply to your save games in progress. Anyway, guys, that does wrap up this video from me today. I hope you found it useful. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe. Of course, if you want to see some other guides, I have covered how to get real club badges as well as face packs into the game in videos like this one. So if you want to pimp out your football manager before you start your big main save game of the year, check those ones out. Just as a little reminder, every time FM updates, you are going to have to reapply these real name fixes. It's a little bit annoying, particularly when the database gets updated and the folder you have to put it all in changes. But hopefully with this guide, it's going to be relatively straightforward. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.